When a chart is good, it is very, very, very good. Oh, so good. When it is bad, it is hilarious. The Mitt Romney for President campaign is trying to get away from talking about health care and the Supreme Court and any topic, really, that doesn't begin with econ and end with AMI. The campaign strategy for victory in November is to tie the president to bad economic news and then sit back and watch those electoral college votes roll in. It is a simple plan, and it could work very well. This week, the message is all about what the Romney campaign claims is a gap between what the president promised to do and what he actually did. It is a powerful political point and one that could be illustrated a number of ways. For example, the campaign sent out this press release. Why the jobs promise gap? According to Romney, the gap is 8 million jobs because before we knew how deep the recession was, the president's economic advisors predicted unemployment would go down faster than it actually did. Okay, it's not exactly a light your hair on fire press release, but it was fine. It used the word gap in the headline, it was printed on paper, the whole thing was sort of a mission accomplished. It worked out fine. In the audiovisual medium, too, the Romney campaign did a fine job with their gap message this week. This ad is called President Obama's Middle Class Promise Gap. As you can see, it is about health care, the deficit, and unemployment. There's a guy talking, and there are graphics. It, too, is fine. Not great, but there's nothing embarrassing about it. It's the kind of thing we're going to see a lot of before November. The Romney campaign's gap message was all going okay when they put it in print and in a TV ad. The effort to chart it, however, has been somewhat less successful. Now, I know you can chart this. I know you can do it. For an article last year, I did a chart showing the gap between the president's initial projections and the actual unemployment rate. There are lines. One goes in the other direction. The others, it can be done. But the Romney campaign, they tried to get fancy. No simple line graph for them. They went for the beautiful chart art that is the Venn diagram. Now, here's an example of a Venn diagram from this very show. Back when Lady Gaga was advocating repeal of the crazy, stupid, don't ask, don't tell policy, and Rachel was covering the debate over repeal on this show, the fine folks here made this Venn diagram. As you can see, the Rachel Maddow show is the circle on the left, and Lady Gaga is the circle on the right. And where they overlap, that space of commonality, that is don't ask, don't tell. That is the thing they both have in common. Makes sense, right? That is what a Venn diagram is good for. It is showing the thing the two circles have in common in common, in common. So what in the name of Stat 101 is this? President Obama promises stimulus would lower unemployment. That is the circle on the left. So I'm with you so far, Romney campaign. And the actual unemployment rate is over 8%. That is the circle on the right. And the thing in the middle, the thing they are supposed to have in common is the gap between them. It is the thing that they don't have in common. It's the difference between the number on the left and the number on the right. Guys, Romney campaign, you're doing it wrong. In fact, you're doing it wrong over and over again. This Venn diagram was posted yesterday. It's how much Obama said health reform would lower premiums on the left and how much Romney says it didn't lower premiums on the right. And the difference between those two numbers, that is in the middle. Again, the Romney campaign appears to think the space in the middle of the two connected circles that make up a Venn diagram is where you put the things the two circles don't have in common, where you put the thing that is not between them, which is why I love, loved, loved Upworthy.com today. They made a couple of their own Venn diagrams to show the Romney campaign what they're supposed to be. Show, don't tell, right? So people whose campaigns have raised $122 million dollars and people with surprisingly inept graphic staffs. What fits in between those two circles? Mitt Romney. People who oppose the individual mandate and people who helped pass the individual mandate. Who fits in both categories? Mitt Romney. That is a Venn diagram. These, these are not Venn diagrams. And trust me on this Mitt Romney campaign, in my day job at the Washington Post Wonk blog, I work with charts. I know charts. Charts are a friend of mine and Governor Romney that is no chart. That does it for us tonight.